I, I have to be the driving force of my career. If anyone's going to make this sink sail and, and, and go on, it ha I have to be the driving force, you know. I, but ultimately, I just don't like the idea of being boxed in, you know. Just because I'm British, I'm, I'm a Londoner and I represent London to the core, that doesn't necessarily mean I have to stay there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I want to be able to wrap the flag like that and go everywhere in the world and still, you know what I'm saying, have the flag on, flag on my back, sorry. I chose to continue independent because at the time I was being offering deals, it just wasn't fitting into what I'd seen for myself or what I'd imagined. And um, I decided to take a risk, a bit of a gamble on myself and see what happens. You know, I've had people settings up, people like Chance the Rapper, who's, you know, when you see people like that blossom and do it their way, it kind of gives you a bit of fire in your belly to want to, like, pursue that, you know. If I want to release a, an album tomorrow, I get to do that. I don't have to answer to anyone or run anything by anyone. It's just, I just ask my friends, you think I should put this out tomorrow? And I just get a opinion from my family, people like that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's cool. The Illness in Wonderland is, um, of course, a play on off of Alice in Wonderland. I wrote the record at a time where I felt like mine and Alice's stories were parallel. Like they almost had agreeable symmetry, I like to say. Um, just in terms of what I was going through at the time and coming into an industry and feeling like things were changing and uh, almost like going down a bit of a rabbit hole, you know what I'm saying? It just, uh, I just related to, to, to the story basically and it just, I've always been a fan of concept albums and I thought it would be exciting and, and something cool and quirky to, to challenge that. I've experienced racism and I've experienced uh, uh, run-ins with the law or, or whatever have you um, and it's, it's a real thing and it happens in, in places where I grow up and it's something that uh, not a lot of people want to talk about for fear of I don't know what but it, that doesn't mean it should be ignored. I feel like I have a, I have a duty and I, I wouldn't be honest or true to myself or even doing myself any favours if I didn't speak about it because it's real and I need more people to help me do it. I'm kind of like, not that I'm carrying all the weight alone but it's a bit it's a bit tough to juggle at times, um, but yeah, I don't know, I just go about what I, uh, I just stand for what I believe in and try and um, portray a message that is positive but is true and honest at the same time, you know?